I'm very angry with the Extinction Rebellion's blockade on the free press over the weekend. As you know, it meant that many newspapers, including The Sun, The Daily Mail, The Financial Times, The Daily Telegraph and The Times, were unable to reach consumers, unable to reach out loyal readers uh, on Saturday. And it was pretty ironic, wasn't it, given that one of the pieces that The Sun published on Saturday was an interview with the great Sir David Attenborough with the headline, Humanity is at a crossroads, but we can do lots to help. So what on earth are Extinction Rebellion playing at? Liam Norton is one of their activists who has previously been arrested protesting for the Extinction Rebellion. Liam, you've exposed your true colours here, haven't you? You're just a Marxist organisation trying to shut the door on capitalism and stop free spree speech. This isn't about climate change at all. You're using that. You used the capitalism thing last time we spoke, didn't you, Dan? Well, I think you want to demolish capitalism, impose veganism on the entire population and take us back to Victorian times, as far as I can tell. And you also don't yeah. want us to choose what we want to read. Well, neither do the 70, so the five billionaires that control the 70% of our press, they don't want us to um, read a free press either. They, they're free to put out whatever agenda they want to. And that's what the point of this story was, is that 70% of our press is owned by five crooks. Liam, who, can I just, Liam, um, can I just ask you something? When you walk into a supermarket, there are a whole load of newspapers displayed, including, by the way, The Morning Star and The Guardian. No one forces any individual to choose to buy The Sun newspaper, The Daily Mail, The Times. They could buy The Guardian if they want to. Very, very few people choose to buy The Guardian because they don't believe in what they have to say. They don't believe in their worldview. If you want to put out your worldview, why does Extinction Rebellion not launch a newspaper? But you cannot say that consumers do not have freedom of choice because they do. They choose to buy what they want. And you just don't like the fact that they choose to buy The Sun, even though, by the way, you may have felt pretty stupid given The Sun published this very positive and empowering pro-climate change interview with Dave, Sir David Attenborough on Saturday. Well, first of all, probably more people read that article because of the blockade than, than didn't read it. That's the first thing to say. And as I've just said to you before, it isn't a free press when 70% of it is owned by five billionaires. Did you not listen to what I just said? I did listen. And I think you're wrong. So why do you, do because you every single press? corner store or supermarket that any individual in this country walks into has a plethora of newspaper options available from the left to the right. You're just very unhappy that it's your left-wing friends in The Guardian and at The Morning Star that are deeply unpopular and the public don't want to buy it. But to say there's not free press in this country is complete madness. No, no, it isn't, because I've just said to you, 70% of it is owned by five billionaires, so it isn't a free press. You're not listening to what I'm saying, What's are your, you? How, how on earth can you say that's not a free press? Because what? it's owned by five billionaires and it's putting out toxic nonsense um, for decades. And, and, and the, the, the fact is... Why would people human... buy it then? Why no, would people buy it? Why, why would saying. people buy something that was toxic? Right, listen, you don't listen, read listen. our newspapers. You've got no idea what's in the sun every day. Because if you did, actually, Liam, you probably would find, because I've done a bit of research for you, so many articles. Look. The Sun's Green Team survey reveals eco fears at an all-time high. Greta Britain, do you see this headline? Love her or hate her, this kid has made millions of us think and act greener. Now we need consensus, not more confrontation. The Greta effect sways mums. A time to take action on plastic by Ben Fogel. How to go green, a little guide. Have yourself a very green Christmas. Turn over a new leaf next year about the environment. This green and pleasant land runs in true blue veins. Step up to plate and beat waste by Ben Elliott. I mean, there are literally hundreds of articles supporting this cause. A, a YouGov survey in 2018. Sorry, I didn't read that sign you just held up. So can you just tell me what it said? Says Murdoch tells Dan what to think and say. 
Well, that's offensive and ridiculous, actually. And if Is you have offensive? if you have that but much you know, lack of respect for me as Liverpool. a journalist, you know, the city of Liverpool, they find the sun really offensive. That's why they refuse to buy it. You know, Jurgen Klopp, he he refuses to answer sun journalist questions because he understands. Liam, we're having a conversation about climate them. change, are we not? No, no, we're having to talk about the media and how it's corrupt and, um, and nothing and it puts out lies. Um, to further the agendas of five crook billionaires well, I've just, who want to you're, further their interests you're, you're, okay, in this you're, country you're, you're, and they don't want the truth out. Liam, the, the fact that, Liam the, you can keep repeating your out. talking points or we can try and have a meaningful conversation. I've if just showed a you a whole load of articles man, in the sun. To, you wouldn't need to listen, pull out pieces of paper and, and have an earpiece in. You would take your earpiece out and have an honest discussion. Well, I can't you. hear you your without aim, my headphones. Aim, I have my headphones aim, on because I can't hear you your, without them, Liam. Your, your, if your you, aim, aim in if you think someone's talking into my ear to tell me what what you, what I what to think, you've truly gone mad. These your, are my your, opinions. Your, your aim in this piece is to try and ridicule us, like you do in every single interview that you ever do. No, it's to rebellion. try and what, expose the what, danger no, of extinction rebellion. Hang on a minute, Dan. Dan, listen to what I've got to say. YouGov survey in 2018 said that 2% of British adults put a great deal of trust in journalists to tell the truth. 2%. This is a corrupt organisation that's, uh, that's owned by five billionaires. And they're not willing to pull out of the truth about the climate emergency. They're not willing to put out the truth about how bad this situation is. And they're not willing to put out the truth that the cause of this climate crisis is corrupt government Liam, institutions. That's Liam, what the cause is. Liam, and what Extinction Rebellion is Liam, saying... Liam, we've got to have a we conversation. Want democracy. We want a citizens... I know what you're democracy. saying. I know what you're saying. We've discussed it many times on the show. Liam, this is a conversation. It's a two-way street. So you say your piece, I'll say mine. You talk about we fake news. I put it to you that Extinction Rebellion is more responsible for fake news than any newspaper in this country. In fact, just last week, you were forced to delete two scenes from a propaganda movie fronted by Keira Knightley that your own scientists said were a lie. It included the claim that climate breakdown was already killing 400,000 people every year and that scientists warned that human extinction is a real possibility. They were lies from the Extinction Rebellion, not a newspaper. No, they weren't lies. We've already said that they weren't lies. Well, why have you deleted you're, them from your own you're, movie? You're, you're, you're a journalist, Dan, right? And you're meant to be looking in... Uh, how many peer-reviewed papers have you read about the scientific um, data on climate crisis? Liam, you've how deleted you them read? from your own how many, movie. How many reports, Your own how many reports, scientists to have deleted them. You're, you're negligent to your listeners because you're not reading the facts about how bad this climate crisis is. You're not telling people about... The fact that in, in uh, a government, the National Atmospheric Association in, of America put out a report saying that in 2034, we could have a blue ocean event. Do you understand what a blue ocean event is? Liam, can you answer my question, please? No, can you answer mine? No, 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 because no, 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 I'm actually hosting this interview. You're here is. to answer my questions. So I'm so asking you why... You're an environmental activist, you said to Claire Farrell last Correct. week. Do you know what a blue ocean event is? Great. Uh, uh, excuse me, Liam. Do you know uh, what it is, Dan? Liam, listen to me do you not, do you and not answer want to my ask questions. Question about what a blue ocean event no, because is. No, because, Liam, I'll problem. tell you why. As I said to Clear, no, your leader on problem, last Dan. week's show, I will not, not allow not the Extinction Rebellion to peddle fear on this show. I will not allow it. And, and I am saying to you that this film was opposed by your own scientists and you have tried to avoid the question and throw something out at, at, else at me so answer me this why did your own film have to delete these two claims about the climate breakdown already killing 400,000 people every year and scientists warning that human extinction is a real possibility why aren't you telling your listeners about okay, so you're not prepared Rockstrom. to answer that question why just aren't to be you clarified telling, why just to be clear why are you not answering I'm, I'm that question i'm trying to answer the question i'm answering it now so Johan Rockstrom of the Potsdam Institute has talked about the catastrophe of what a four degree world looks like for this planet. Have you read that report? Nope. Exactly. You call yourself an environmentalist, but you're a fraud, Dan. And we know you're a the fraud. The Extinction and Rebellion the, are a the, group the of frauds. And the listeners in this country and the listeners listening to this, they know you're a fraud. We know that you're lying. 
and you know that we know that you're lying. Oh and that's what goodness. this whole like media <laughs> nonsense is all about. And that's why 2% of adults have faith in journalists Liam, to tell the Liam. truth. What's hilarious about this is that There's you have collapse. just refused There's to a answer a very happened. basic question. Why did the Extinction Rebellion peddle fake news that your own scientists disagreed with in a propaganda film fronted by Kara Knightley designed to terrify an entire generation of young people? I think it's sick, actually. And I think it's sick that you're trying to uh, break down and suppress freedom of the press as well. And I was an environmental activist growing up and I still care passionately about the environment. But what I don't want is to reverse capitalism because that's what Extinction Rebellion is really about. What I don't want is to enforce the entire country to go vegan. And I really don't believe that public opinion is, in is, is on your side. Was that a question? No, it was a statement. I didn't hear the question. I didn't it was hear the a statement that, that you can I mean, respond Dan, to yeah, if you me, choose you're giving to. Me a statement. You're giving me a statement, but you're like this like pantomime character. And it's pathetic, mate. And the fact is that most people see through it. And there's a collapse happening in the trust of organisations like yours, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, which puts out just bile and garbage and racist stuff no. that is quite do you listen to this show liam can i ask you a question do you read the sun every day and do you listen to this show every day between four and seven because what you're explaining is not at all what our show is and it's not at all what my newspaper is so i think you're actually totally unable to make that comment unless you read the sun every day and listen to me every day between four and seven do you do those two things well, I think you were just taken to court for for saying uh, some stuff about people. Well, there's no judgment in that case. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, we know, we know. Look, you're you. At the end of the day, there's two percent of adults that have trust in journalism at the moment. It's owned by five crooks, five billionaires that are trying to put out a constant narrative they're of not hate crooks, and division. Businessmen. Oh, they're businessmen, are they? Yeah. What? And so we, we're meant to trust them now, are we? Because you've called them. But you don't have to trust quirks. them. You don't have to trust them. But if you want to read a newspaper in this country, you have a plethora of choice. You can read The Guardian. Now, for some reason, Liam, The Sun sells many, 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 many times more newspapers than The Guardian. That is choice. That's capitalism. I know you're totally against capitalism and that this is what the debate with Extinction Rebellion is really about. You want to roll back capitalism, don't you, Liam? Answer me that question. You're confusing this issue as, a, as an issue of ideology. Do you believe in capitalism? Allow me to finish the question. It's it a simple question. A bit, Do you believe in capitalism, yes or no? Capitalism is killing itself. Do you not understand that? No, I don't the, the, understand that. No, I, I know, don't agree with that. You're not an environmentalist as you claim to be because you're not understanding. Okay, so Liam, that means that you're saying. saying to our listeners and readers that you have a stark choice. You can either be a capitalist or an environmentalist. No, you can be somebody. Well, that's what who's you just said. Look, your looks, we can be someone who's looking to upgrade democracy and get rid of the corrupt politicians. A politician, by the way, Boris Johnson, who's just been told by the European Council that he's on had an official warning for blacklisting investigative journalists because they're stopping them doing their job and they're blacklisting them. So if anybody's attacking the free press, it's Boris Johnson at the moment, not Extinction Rebellion, who did a stunt to show that five crooks are controlling 70% of the media Liam, in this country. Think... Five billionaire crooks are controlling the media and what gets put out. And that's partly owned, uh, the wireless group that own this organisation are part of it as well. Liam, so I Liam just final question. I just want to give you a chance to clarify. The listeners... Do you yeah, think... just one Ex second, Dan. Just no, no, one no, no, second. No, 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 no. It, this just is my interview, listener. Liam. I've just given you a me. huge amount of time. I've given you a huge amount of time because I love to have all voices on this show. I've given Extinction Rebellion a platform on this show for two years but you've got to answer my questions do you believe that extinction rebellion will be successful in undermining capitalism in this country it's not about whether we're going to be successful in undermining capitalism it's whether we're going to be successful in creating a meaningful democracy with regards to creating citizens assemblies and getting rid of the corruption in westminster that's endemic that creates the corruption of media establishments 
um, such as Murdoch's News Corp. Given the stunt, allows, Liam, final question. Given Liam, final question. Allows, Liam, final I mean, question. There's, given there's, the stunt has backfired so badly, uh, will you try and blockade newspaper printing presses again, or do you accept it was an experiment gone very badly wrong? I don't really accept that it. it's backfired. Miles and Moore, a former Sunday Times journalist, says, as a former Sunday Times journalist, I strongly support this action. Oh. Murdoch is Lord of Lies. He is doing don't incredible be ridiculous. Harm. Don't He's be ridiculous. Liam Norton, harm. the That's... Extinction Rebellion activist, please do come back because I love having a fair and balanced discussion on this show. 0344 499 1000. What do you think? Clearly, I think it's madness. And I think we've finally seen what the Extinction Rebellion are all about. Undermining capitalism. That's what this is about. Stopping the publication of opinions they disagree with. That's what this is about. 03444.